Former Bemidji Middle School assistant principal Brandon Bjorkness is now charged with four counts of child pornography and attempted enticement of a minor. The U.S. Attorney's Office is pursuing the federal charges for videos found during an investigation into the alleged conduct. Reporter Mel Meyer joins us in studio with the latest on the charges. Mel? Thank you, Dennis. During his first appearance in U.S. District Court today, it was revealed that Bjergnes allegedly used social media accounts to contact more than 50 victims. The U.S. Attorney's Office has charged 34-year-old Brandon Bjergnes with two counts of production and one count of distribution of child pornography. He also faces one count of attempted coercion and enticement of a minor. The criminal complaint alleges that while he was an assistant principal, Bjergnes posed as a teenage persona Brett Larson on social media. He used the alias to direct females and males in middle and high school to send him sexually explicit photos. Investigators allege that he used a separate phone to create videos of himself looking at the photos. On one occasion, he sent the photos he had received from one of his victims to an underage boy in exchange for other ones. In an email sent to Bemidji School District faculty on Wednesday morning, Superintendent James Hess acknowledged that Bjorkness had been arrested. He said that the district has cooperated fully and placed the safety of students first and foremost. Hess declined to comment further on the matter. Chief Assistant Beltrami County Attorney David Frank tells us that the federal case will not prevent the state from pursuing criminal charges. However, this may change the timely processing of the state's cases. Bjorkness faces four total counts of engaging in electronic communication, relating or describing sexual conduct with a child in two separate cases. Bjorkness's attorney did not respond to a request for comment. Bjorkness is still expected to have an omnibus hearing at the Beltrami County Courthouse on July 10th for the pending state charges. Dennis. All right, thank you very much, Mel. Now, authorities believe there may be more possible victims. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.